welcome everyone. This is Teresa and Lisa from Kiwanis, so and we're sponsoring this tonight. And um, Michelle and Alex is going to take care of the meeting. So thanks for coming. Thanks for having us, Teresa and Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Dundee Village Candidate Forum. I'm tonight's moderator, Michelle Hallett from Monroe County Radio. Each candidate will be given one minute to tell the audience why they are running for office. And I'll time each person so, you know, it's fair for everyone. Uh, once we get to the one minute, I'll thank you for your comment and then we'll move on to the next candidate to answer that question. We do have some predetermined questions to get the forum started. We also have cards for you. I believe they're back there for you to submit your question if you would like. If you do have a question, please make it appropriate for all candidates because they will be asked the same question. We will attempt to get all of the questions in during the allotted time. Please hold your applause for the end of the forum because we want to get to as many of your questions as possible. If a candidate's supporters consistently ignore this rule, the candidate will be asked to sit in the audience for the rest of the forum and will not be allowed to answer any further questions. That way it's fair for everyone. Please be respectful, please be civil to each candidate because it really does take a lot to run for an elected office. As you can see, there's Chief Garbo there. Hi, Chief. He's in the audience. Please be mindful of that fact if you think you may not want to follow these simple rules. I know, that's playing the heavy, but I'm sorry. So, I'm going to break one rule. Please give a round of applause for all of these candidates because it takes a lot to want to serve your community. Thank you. We will start with one second. The timer. Nope. Here we go. So we will start out with Tim Bordine. Tim, candidates now. Um, you have one minute. Please tell everyone why you are running for office. I'm running for office to improve Dundee. I'm a village trustee now, and I'm running for village president. I've lived here all my life, and I love this town, and I don't like the way some of the things are, the way things are being handled, and I'm on top of everything. You guys know me as a walking man in town. I walk the streets more than anybody in town. And I talk to people and listen to people and I know their concerns. I'm very interested in helping the community and serving the public. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Schroeder, why are you running for office? Sure. Well, I moved to Dundee about eight years ago, but I've been working here for about 12 years. We moved down here because I fell in love with this culture within the Dundee community. And it's just been a welcoming area to be and grow up and my family's here and we love it here. Um, my whole life, going back to when I served in the military, I just got an honorable discharge after 20 years in the Army. Um, I've always gone forward with a selfless service idea. I've always tried to serve the community, serve the school, serve the students, and I just want to continue in a different capacity and try and get involved in the community and serve the community. So I'm really looking forward to serving the community in a positive way and be part of something great as Dundee moves forward in a great way. Thank you. Jordan Reeves, why are you? Uh, well, first, I, I met my wife uh, a little bit over five years ago and moved down here to Dundee with her and my stepson. Fell in love with Dundee. Um, and I just wanted to, you know, as I started this adulting thing, started to become more involved with the community, get to know everybody, get to uh, serve and help businesses and help the community, help all different demographics. Um, you know, the big thing is uh, encouraging kind of friendliness between you know the schools the village the police department the businesses all the different demographics of you know the senior center so uh basically i'm dedicated to promote dundee in a positive light to make others uh, make dundee their forever home 
Thank you. Paul Scott, why are you running for office? Uh, thanks everybody for being here. Uh, with any other candidates. Uh, I am running for office. Uh, I'm currently a Dundee trustee. I was appointed two years ago. Um, I before that I was on the uh, school board. Uh, I'm on the, currently on the planning commission as well. And the main reason is here to serve. Brian said that spirit of service is just something I think is really important. Uh, the more we can do it as a community, uh, the better we all are. I have an education, a political science degree, and then I went on to law school and got a law degree, and I've always been fascinated with government work and feel like I can bring a, a different uh, perspective uh, in the board seat. Um, try to do that uh, at every meeting we have. I am out of the community in the sense that I have two small children here that I'm raising because uh, this is where we want to grow up and be and we're investing our time and our resources and uh, it's a great community. So I'm out there hearing from folks and hopefully bringing that perspective to this board. Thank you. Dennis Polito, why are you running for office? Uh, like Paul, I was appointed to a seat that was vacant a year ago. I moved to Dundee three years ago, uh, spent the better part of 30 years prior to that in California. Um, and moving back here was um, a good opportunity uh, to get back there. I was born and raised in Toledo. I went to UT. Um, and uh, while I was in California, I became a doer uh, instead of just a watcher. Uh, getting back here, I joined uh, DABA, DBA. I currently sit on both of those um, uh, organizations. And um, I'm a doer, and I want to help. And I think the village is going in the right direction, and I want to keep it going that way. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Penny, why are you running? I am the current village president. I am also a lifelong resident of the village. I have raised six children in this village. Um, I think it's a great place to live. I've been on the council, I was on the council two years and then ran for village president. Um, and I've been in that seat for two years, as well as I was on the council and village president years ago for I think 12 or 14 years total. I just like being involved. I think we're moving in the right direction, and I would like to continue to see the community grow and become a place where people of all diversity can live, all ages. I think we're doing good developing the park that we just took over, and I'm hoping to keep moving forward on all of those things. Thank you. Alana York. Oh, Yorkie, Yorkie, I won't tell. No, Yorkie. I work with Ija. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, my name is Elena Horky. My friends and family know me as Gally, and I hope you will call me that as well. Um, to get to know me a little bit better, I thought that I would share that I'm a lifelong Monroe County resident. Um, uh, for generations, my family has lived in Dundee, and my husband and I are raising our four children here right now. I just celebrated my 20th year with the Monroe County Prosecutor's Office, where I am currently the director of the Victim Rights Unit. In this position, I act as liaison between victims of crime and the prosecutors, ensuring that victims are heard, their voices are heard, and that they're able to exercise their rights. I'm also responsible for balancing the budget um, for the unit, and uh, I submit that to the state for our um, funding of our grant. So I feel that these qualities and skills will assure that I will be a great listener to the residents of the village of Dundee, and also my leadership skills will be an asset because Mr. Lorba, why are you running for council? Hello, my name is Tom Rubik. I've been here all my life working in Dundee. I have been council for eight years before the last four years happened. I was on a zoning board of appeals. I've been on parks and recreation. I worked at a cement plant until they closed down production out there as union president. I helped develop things here in Dundee. I was the one that got uh, Dundee Cement to donate the cement for basketball courts where the real water towers used to be at. I just feel there's a lot more to be done for the kids around town and I enjoy it, you know, and I want to see Dundee develop, be better off for everybody. So I'd like your vote. 
most. Thank you. Thank you. Now we'll get to the um, start of the questions. And first off is Brian Schroeder. What experience do you have that you can bring with you to make a good council person if you are elected? And why, in your mind, are you the best candidate? Well, to start, I've been working in the school system, so a lot of the village council meetings and the school board meetings, they're kind of in the same fashion. We have a delegation of people that were elected to represent the community and being able to work hand in hand with those people and understanding what the needs are and being able to hear those uh, needs and coming up with a way to come up with a solution. Um, I have a master's degree in educational leadership, so I understand how that works. Um, also being in the military as an officer, uh, getting out as a major, I've been commanding people in large groups uh, in Afghanistan, Iraq, here, as long and along with being a high school principal. Uh, I've done that for 12 years. Um, as far as me being the best candidate, I don't know. I know what I bring. I know a lot of people up here are great people. Um, I know that I am a person of high integrity. I'm a person that focuses on character. I don't play dirty politics. I am, if I feel something or I think something, I'm going to say it. And, and we're going to work through it in a positive way. That's what I bring. If that makes me the best candidate, then great. Um, but there are some great people up here. Jordan Reeves, what experience do you have that you can bring with you to make you a great council person? And why, in your opinion, are you the best candidate? Well, everything that I've done in my life, um, whether it's uh, you know, job or school, I've always taken that, that, that leadership role, um, learning, you know, the people in the organization, learning the plan, learning uh, uh, basically what the end game is. Um, and so I took it upon myself to learn all the ins and outs uh, and so that I could make the organization that I'm helping out a lot better, uh, look at things in a lot more uh, uh, common sense minimalist attitude um, and, and with that you know I put a lot of uh, passion uh, and a lot of um, you know a uh, strong work I think um, I try to look at you know where people are failing um, and where I might be able to succeed be that kind of glue now um, so that's basically what I bring to uh, any community that I'm in um, right now I'm the vice president of the Area Business Association so I'm to uh, create a lot of bridges, uh, bridges that I haven't seen, um, to, to, to make this a better place to live. Um, a minute's up, I'm sorry. Mr. Scott, what experience do you have that you can bring with you to make you a good council person, and why, in your mind, are you the best candidate? Um, I think the thing that I probably possess the best, the best quality I have I understand the, the government function, what we're here to do. Uh, essentially, we have a board of seven people with one employee, the village manager, Mr. Ewell. Uh, we don't get anything done unless we all agree and give Mr. Ewell a uh, strategic direction uh, and fiscal oversight. That's what we're here to do. My current job for a living, I work for the university and uh, responsible for a self supporting unit within the university. Uh, you know, a couple million dollar budget, not as big as the village, but at the same time, it Union presence, and there's a lot of operations that go into it. And more than anything, it's it's a customer service role, um, and I understand that that's what we're here to do as the village council. That our our citizens are our customers, and if we don't put ourselves in our customer shoes, people aren't going to be happy. So that's what we're here to do. Thank you. Mr. Polito, what experience do you bring with you that you can that can help you be a very good council person? if elected, and why, in your mind, are you the best candidate? Uh, well, as I mentioned before, I was appointed to council uh, a year ago due to a vacancy. I, I was very honored to be selected to that. Um, as I said, in the past, uh, once I moved to California, I became a doer and not just a uh, watcher. I was very involved in, uh, in the Merced community. I was a Kiwanis president, uh, chaired many, many boards, chaired a lot of fundraisers. Uh, I said, although I was never in, in the real political arena, I served uh, 16 years 
on the Merced Personnel Board, which is the longest tenure of anyone in Merced, and it's also the limit of how long you can serve. Uh, I think I've served uh, the people and, uh, and the council well in the year that I've been here. I, I play nicely with others, and uh, I want to continue to do that. So that's why um, I want to run. Thank you. Penny Gutierrez, what experience do you bring with you that can make you a good council person, and why, in your mind, are you the best candidate? Well, I am retired from the state of Michigan, having uh, worked for them for 40 plus years. And uh, during that time, I worked for the Department of Transportation, Mental Health, Corrections, Treasury, Labor and Economic Growth. So I've learned a lot about how different government systems work. I have also been a council member for several years and the village president. Um, village president, actually, I only have, or the village president position only has a vote, just like all the other council people do. I think that position is important, though, in trying to trying to bring everyone to a common understanding, a common goal, a common vision, so that we can move forward on what it is we're trying to do. Um, I'm honest, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. My door is open, and I'm always willing to listen to everyone. And although I know you can't please all of the people all the time, I think that um, it's important that we try to listen to everyone and do what we feel is the best for the majority of the community. Thank you. Alana Horky, what experience do you have that you could bring with you if you are elected as a council person? And what in your, why in your mind are you the best candidate? Thank you. Um, very similar to what Peggy just said, listening um, and communication. So in my job, my job, job um, I deal with a heavy caseload, we said victim of crime, things like that. And sometimes there's case sensitive issues, there's um, high emotions and things like that, that I'm able to sometimes put fires out and help people understand why a situation may not be how they want it to be, but maybe what it needs to be. So um, working through tough issues, listening to them, helping them understand research, what um, the issues are, and maybe they're you know, definitely listening to their concerns and helping um, get to a common goal. Thank you. Mr. Warbach. What experience do you have that you can bring with you to make you a good council person if elected, and why, in your mind, are you the best candidate? I've been on council, like I say, for eight years before. Um, I've lived in town all my life. I've been a business person in the village of Dundee. I've brought business to Dundee. And negotiations when I was a union president of cement plant, I negotiated contracts. I was on both sides of the party. I was in communication. I was a leader in teaching people uh, for the friendship program. And it's just, I just want to continue and watch how we're spending money, giving jobs out. There's a lot to be said about all this. And I want to just do the right thing with common sense thing. It's best for Dundee. It's going to make it grow. Thank you. Mr. Gordon, what experience do you have that you can bring with you to make you a good council person if elected? And why, in your opinion, are you the best candidate? I am a council person already, and uh, I started out as a youth, being the captain of the varsity uh, track team and cross country team. And then I continued on with leadership. I've always been a leader. When I started, I worked 32 and a quarter years at Ford Motor without missing a day of work, and I was on the union board there. We negotiated the contracts. I get along with a lot of people. They want me to get us their leader, and I'm proud to serve Dundee right now, and I always, I've always lived here all my life, and I love Dundee. I know what the right things are to do, and I agree with Mr. Robach that we've got some job positions and everything that need to be looked at, and the way we do things, I'm not a flip-flopper, and I'm going to continue to pursue these things in the next two years. Thank you. Thank you. On to the next question. Jordan Reeves. Dundee has many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to live, work, and play.
play. What volunteer experience do you have? Well, volunteer experience, uh, especially here in Dundee. Uh, I, started, I started out as uh, just a member of the Dundee Area Business Association. Um, and then moved up into the vice president role. Uh, doing that for the last couple of years. Um, when I first came to Dundee, I also noticed that uh, there wasn't a, a real strong representation of the children, you know, besides the Dundee community school system. So I went ahead and became the director of Toys for Tots for Dundee. Um, I've also been a uh, subcommittee member uh, for the DDA, co-chair of the Main Street uh, Initiative. Um, it's kind of got pushed to the backside there. Um, and also, I have a fun hobby to where I like to promote Dundee with my own YouTube channel. So, uh, a lot of volunteer experience. Thank you. There's many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to live, work, and play. What volunteer experience do you have? Uh, within Dundee, not much. Um, I have worked with Foundations Preschool in Ypsilanti. Um, I lived in Morte Ann Arbor for many years, so I had a connection there for a long time. Uh, this is my community involvement, if you will, uh, with his Dundee. Beyond that, I don't, I haven't engaged with any other uh, volunteer organizations. A uh, school board, as I mentioned before, but that's not a volunteer role, just like the village council isn't a volunteer role. Thank you. Dennis Polito, Dundee you know, there's many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to work and play. What volunteer experience do you have? Uh, like Paul said, I currently sit on the uh, Village Council. Um, I'm past chairman of the DDA Downtown Development Authority. Uh, I'm a trustee on DABA. Um, and uh, as I alluded to earlier, Merced, was that uh, California was where I really, really got involved in the community. I was Columbus president. Uh, I served on the local chapter of the American Heart Association as president. I served on the state board, California. Um, I uh, served on a hospital board. Uh, and, and as I mentioned, uh, 16 years on the personnel board. So uh, I am big into community involvement. My kids are all grown up now, but when they were younger, we were very active in the soccer and the baseball and so forth and so on. And I was also past president of the uh, high school baseball boosters. So uh, I feel I'm very well qualified to um, continue. Thank you. Penny Gutierrez, as you know, Dundee has many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to live, work, and play. What volunteer experience do you have? Well, um, over the years I've served on many boards, which are actually kind of volunteer, since you're not elected to that. Um, years ago, uh, I served on the JCs. I've served at the uh, Dundee, Dundee Senior Center. Uh, I've done work for the Dundee Preschool, the Dundee Housing Commission, the PTA. I volunteer for well, raising six children, lots and lots of school activities and sporting events. Um, I'm currently on the Brownfield Redevelopment Board. I uh, volunteered with Habitat for Humanity in Detroit when I was working for the state up there. And I also volunteered for Junior Achievement um, out of the Lansing office when I worked there. Um, and there have been a lot of other things throughout the years in the community that I have volunteered for as time has allowed. Atlanta Horky, Dundee has many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to live, work, and play. What volunteer experience do you have? Um, the church I attend is actually in Temperance, but we have um, a group called Fellowship Matters that works with the Cherry Street Mission. And I have worked um, with they are, with you know, getting together sandwiches, being homeless, things like that. Um, I also have kind of a side business that I Work and play. 
play? What volunteer experience? Oh, so I'm part of recreation is getting trying to get the uh, roller skate thing or skate park in there, which didn't happen. And then I go around to people in the wintertime, like people that can't get their driveways plowed or sidewalks shoveled out clean or clear their driveways or sidewalks to help other people out that are stuck that needs strength that were stranded, take them out and take groceries out to them and stuff like that. I'm just Whatever it takes, but I hear that there is need of uh, help. If it's during the flooding, I help do sandbags. If it's during the tornadoes, I help people cut trees up all their yards and stuff. It's, I'm there if they need me. Thank you. Tim Borden, Dundee has many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to live, work, and play. What volunteer experience do you have? Well, when I was a child, helped with my buddies we painted the playground and i believe some of the swing sets and slides are out the baptist church or in the arts now and then i continued with my volunteer work when i was at board motor with the united way gather as many people as i could to give charity and everything help them out and i'm like tom we're in the same neighborhood and we clean everybody's driveway, the older people, or if somebody breaks the leg in an accident, we're there. And the big joke around my house is that uh, when I, I live on East Monroe Street, and I plow all the way down to Oak Street, and then maybe somebody will call from Toledo Street or something, and then my dad or when my wife was living would give me a phone number and say, hey, there's somebody on the other side of town that needs uh, some snow removal. And they were just teasing me and everything because I, I can't stop once I get going. Brian Schroeder, Dundee has many great volunteer organizations that make the community a great place to live, work, and play. What volunteer experience do you have? All right, well, uh, about four years ago, we uh, reinstated the uh, Athletic Boosters, which has been really good. I'm a very, very active member there. Uh, Interact, I started Interact, which is a junior rotary program um, at uh, Dundee High School uh, 10 years ago. Uh, community Christmas, we've done that for 10 years. We uh, take care baskets and presents and gift cards to over 100 families in the greater Dundee area every single Christmas. Uh, I'm part of a committee with Lisa Wayne here who started the Hall of Fame committee up at uh, Dundee High School to start to recognize some of the great things that some of the past graduates have done. Um, the biggest thing I do is I'm a coordinator for students and I try to instill in students the value of community service. If a student can go through life with their hands on something instead of their palms up asking for something, I think that that's the best community service I can do. Thank you. Next question, what, to Paul Scott, what experiences do you believe that you've had that will make you a valuable member of council? Um, well, first of all, I'm going to amend my last answer a little bit. I thought of some things. Um, I forgot I did serve on the Parks and Rec board as well and helped with uh, the talking the junior golf class a couple of years ago. That was a lot of fun. Uh, the real reason I'm doing all of this is in the back of the room. This is the politics it's all yet. My two kids are here, um, and they are uh, the reason I do this because I want to be the as, as great as can be. Uh, so I coach baseball, I coach flag football, and you know, like to consider that to be some of the community service as well. Um, that experience really doesn't help on the board. I think what's helped on the board has been my experience uh, on the school board. Uh, the two years I've already been on the village council uh, before that as a member of the foundation's preschool. But more importantly, my, my current work experience of uh, running an organization, uh, managing a budget, uh, making sure that sound fiscal oversight and strategic direction. I like to use up that stuff a lot, those words. Uh, but number one is culture. It's the people in the community that, that, uh, that make a place great. And that my experience has shown that over and over again. And if you don't have people engaged and people that care, then nothing good gets done. So uh, those experiences, I think, can help uh, make this board even better. Thank you. Dennis Polito, what experiences do you believe that will make you valuable as a member of this council? Uh, I guess
again, I'll mention that I am currently sitting uh, on the Board of Trustees. I think I add value to that board. Um, I have started from scratch and owned and run two businesses, one in Cincinnati and then one in Merced. Um, so I know how to deal with crises, how to deal with budgets, how to deal with people that don't want to be dealt with. Um, my last job, job was in Los Angeles. I was the director at a private school of institutional advancement, which put me in charge of marketing, development, recruitment, alumni relations, and just to tip my own hat, my first year on the job, we increased the enrollment in the school by 33%, 133%. So I get the job done. Thank you. Penny Gutierrez, what experiences do you believe will make you a valuable member of the council? Um, well, counting my past experience in this four years, I have probably 18 years experience on the council and village president total. Uh, I think that my strongest asset that I bring to the council is to listen to everyone. Um, I think everyone has something to say and wants to be heard. People don't always agree. I think um, it's my goal to bring the board and people together to a common consensus to the best uh, resolution and answer that we have to the issue at hand. Um, and I think that the current group that we have has been very successful in doing that and moving this community forward. Thank you. Alana Borke, what experiences do you believe that will help you make you a valuable member of council. Um, I feel like I would be a valuable member of the council uh, with managing budget and experience, also working with people from all walks of life. You never know what someone is going through when they're walking down the road. Um, I have those sign in my office that says be kind to them anyway. And um, also working with government agencies, there's a handful of people in the room that I know from working at the prosecutor's office or having What experiences, oops, I don't want to start that too soon. What experiences do you believe you have that will make you a valuable member of the next council? Well, I hope to bring stability in here. Um, I have knowledge of what council has done in the past and projects that have started that never got finished, that being the changing of the guard just felt to the wayside. Some of that stuff we spend good money on that needs to get either get done. And then there's other things that we don't need to be doing. And just negotiations in this to do the right thing and not break contracts and change things after things are done and set. You don't do that. I just want to participate, do the right thing, get Dundee going economically good. I want things done for the kids, so there's a place for them, everything for them to do. Dundee was a great place when I grew up, and I want that for kids nowadays. You know, there used to be all kinds of things here. There's movie theaters back when I was a kid. There was places for kids to work. That's not here so much anymore, so we need to get that all back. Thank you. Tim Bordon, what experiences do you believe that your family will make you a valuable member of the next council? Well, I mentioned them in, in the last few minutes, and I listen to people all over town, and I, and I listen to all their concerns, and it's just not what I think. It's with the hundreds of people that stop me when I'm walking and their concerns and what I could do to help the community out and them out. Brian Schroeder, what experiences do you believe that you've had that will make you a valuable member of the next council? I think the important piece is over the last 12 years, the experiences that I've had with numerous families and their students have come through the high school, just getting to know the community and realize who lives within our community and understanding where they come from. Um, I understand strategic planning, setting goals, setting benchmarks to get to those goals and having a vision and a mission and working towards that. Um, I understand my role and whatever role I'm in. 
and the responsibilities that comes with that role. Um, I bring a solid connection to the schools. I believe that the school and the village here are the two most important things within this village. And if we can bring those two together, we can make great things happen. The relationship that we build with the school is going to just make Dundee a desirable place for everybody that leads to economic growth, that leads to prosperity within our own individual um, investments that we've made in our houses and in our properties and in our business. So that connection and having that inside connection because I work with the schools, I think is huge and a great, great bonus.